Warning, there is a strong use of profanity in this video. I'm just letting you know, girl. Okay. Glam fam, so it is very late. It is 3.49 in the morning right now. And your girl was like, girl, I need to record because I have a sponsorship that I need to get out like yesterday. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, let me get myself together and let me record some content for my Glam fam because I'm tripping, honey. Like I was supposed to been had this sponsorship done the other day before the other day, like, let me get my live. So in the process of knowing that, I'm like, okay, let me sit down and chit chat for a little while. And today I actually have a busy day ahead. So I don't even know why I'm slacking, what I'm doing, what's going on, like what's tea. So I'm gonna do a quick get ready with me and kind of discuss my week with you guys. Um, plus my weekend, did anything go on in my weekend? I will leave the weekend out. I don't think anything happened this weekend. But anyway, definitely going to talk about this week because, honey, it has been one for the books. Okay. And I started to put in context, but, honey, I couldn't. I, mm -mm, it's too late. Okay, why am I putting in context at almost 4 o'clock in the morning? I just couldn't do it. I was like, you know what? I changed my mind. But if y'all have not watched my previous contact review, then definitely check it out. I will link it up in the cards for you guys because those are some awesome very comfortable contacts and they're super duper easy to put in so check that out i'm gonna leave it listed up in the cards for you guys but woo y'all so as y'all know i've been going to the gym and i've been getting these old workouts in which i'm very happy about um i think today i might end up missing today because your girl's gonna be gone all day long which i might vlog that i might not Shh, it's kind of a secret but if i do vlog it then i definitely will incorporate it in a vlog of course um but anyway y'all it's getting to the point where it's getting a little bit um strange around those parts okay i don't know if people use the gym for dating or what they use the gym for but honey I'm not the one, okay? I, I'm not the one for your shenanigans. I'm gonna start off by setting my natural eyebrows with the Too Faced Born This Way powder. Um, but anywho, I'm not the one for your shenanigans, okay? Cause half y'all are just around here trying to pick up girls in the gym. And I don't like it because it's somewhere that you have to be so frequently. So it's like this person, <sighs> will still be there after they try to holler at you and it's not like they should be kicked out of the gym I'm not saying that but it's just like it's like motherfucker get out of my face okay because men are very persistent and one thing that I've learned is until they think that they've gotten the attention that they want they don't stop okay and in this case like if I turn you down the first time it's never gonna happen yeah, no, it's never going to happen. So, please don't harass me and please don't turn weird because I'm just here to get a workout in just like you, okay? So, when you start overstepping your boundaries, that's where the issues come into play. And plus, the gym that I am going to is very big on social distancing. And the fact that you men... Don't give a damn behooves me, okay? Because it's like, honey, please back up. Give me six feet, please. Um, and also, like, it's an area in the gym where it's very secluded. And not many people go over there, okay? I pay close attention to my surroundings. And I've never seen this motherfucker go over there until i was over there and maybe i'm just being weird but you've already tried to talk to me so it's like leave me the fuck alone go somewhere else go somewhere else where you're welcome because it's not over here so i just tell him to move like get the fuck away from me and he's like well you already think i'm a stalker so i might as well play into it i'm like bitch you trying it okay what's the number to 911 
because I'm not I'm not about to do this. I, I'm not about to do this. Okay, I'm not not today, not tomorrow. Um, but it's getting to the point where it's like out of hand, and I do have a Planet Fitness membership. What I love about Planet Fitness is there's so many of them, and you can go to them pretty much you know anywhere that you are so let's say that I'm in a different city I could go in that particular city I love that about player fitness but at the same time it's like you do have that specific gym that you kind of just latch on to and the one that I like is not even the closest one to my house it's like 15-20 um, minutes away and I just prefer to go to that one simply because I love how spacious it is and that I actually can have a certain amount of privacy there to get my workout in and to not necessarily be around people if that makes sense while being around people <laughs> okay um, but it's almost like people make it difficult once they find out that you exist it's like non-stop Okay, I'm going to use the MAC um, Concealer in NC30. This is very light, but I'm just going to use this for going around my eyebrows and cleaning them up. Um, and I'm going to use this brush here from Morphe. So, yeah. Anyway, it's very irritating. And a few weeks ago, there was another guy that tried to holler at me. And he was married. And I'm like, what is going on? Like... What's tea? What's tea? Because there is no way ever in God's green earth that I will ever talk to a married man. I mean, I know there's a lot of low class women running around here now, but she is not me. I am not one, okay? Um, so, it's just too much going on. But y'all stay safe out here, okay? Because these men... <laughs> They are on something else, honey. Well, just, it's, hell, it's not even just men. Let me, it's some women too, okay? It's some women that be on that mess too, so. I'm not even just gonna blame men. It's both. It's everybody, okay? It's most people, not everybody. Because I, I already know that my glam fam is not a part of that mess but it's a lot of people on that mess so make sure that you stay away from people that are on that mess okay um but other than that life has been pretty smooth selling like all i want to do is go to the gym get my workout in i'm not looking for a workout partner i'm not looking for anybody to bother me during my workout i have to turn the brightness down um because i feel like that distract that's very distracting you know and you're not even able to enjoy your workout and get your workout in and i've realized i love working out it's just i don't like being bothered when i'm working out or if i if i reject you while i'm working out i just don't like you so just get the fuck away from me basically um, because I'm like two seconds from being like, bitch, move. Okay, and I'm a very blunt person. I always have been my whole entire life. So if I don't like you, or I'm not giving that vibe off that I like, like you, then it's best to just move away from me. Because I will tell you. Um, and that has always been my personality, period. Anybody who knows me knows that I have always been a talker. So, if I don't like you, you'll know. Okay? If I want you out of my face, you'll know. And in his case, he just got the brunt end of it because I'm like, get the fuck away from me. Um, and a lot of people think that I'm weird. I mean, not weird. Maybe some people think that I'm weird. Maybe that's why I said that by accident. But a lot of people think that I'm mean. And I'm not. I'm just an honest person. And if I don't like what you're doing or if I don't like you being around me I, I will tell you to move the fuck away from me I do not care and if not restraining order <laughs> no I'm just kidding but yeah you guys I really have been enjoying my workouts as long as nobody is messing with me and even if you know me like don't interrupt my workout please because whatever you're talking about is probably not that important and I just you know I'd rather not be bothered when I'm in a place where I'm just trying to get fit trying to be healthy trying to do what I need to do in order to take care of myself so 
yeah but i hope that others start to respect my boundaries um anyway i see that you guys have really been enjoying vlogs so i'm like girl i need to do some more vlogs for my glam fam um i feel like my life like my monday through friday is pretty boring you know um but a lot of people just like watching other people's lives, which is very interesting. So, I'm trying to find a way to incorporate more of that here on my channel. That way you guys can see more of my life and just really get to know me more, you know? Um, because a lot of people want to feel you know as close to you as possible i've noticed that here on youtube like when you guys watch a certain content creators y'all love to see more of their life which is understandable you know if you follow um anybody with a certain amount of followers or just anybody in general if you have interest in somebody you want to know them more obviously so to me that's 100 percent understandable so I'm trying to incorporate more vlogs because I feel like that makes it more personable and you guys are able to see the person behind you know all the beauty hacks and tricks and just everything that I do here on my channel so yes I will definitely be doing some more of that um, but if there's anything in particular that you guys would like to see other than vlogs or other than the normal content that I do like beauty hacks and different stuff like that then always feel free to leave a comment and let me know down below because uh, I'm here for it I'm here for y'all you know I make content for other people to watch it obviously I'm not sitting here you know spending hours on creating content for no one to watch it so um definitely 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 um check it out I mean, not check that, but let me know down below. Good night, Mama. Bye. Love you. So let me try to get this eyebrow together and then I'll chit chat a little bit more. So I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade of 330 and I'm going to use this on my eyelids to kind of get rid of some of the discoloration that are on them. Um, so I don't know if anybody who knows me will ever be able to believe this. But you guys, I now kind of like TV to a certain extent, okay? Um, I used to be that person that never watched TV, did not care what came on because, honey, it just wasn't that interesting to me. And I have a short attention span. So whenever the TV was on, I just fall asleep. I, it literally did not matter what was on. I can fall asleep on anything if it bores me which most stuff on TV bores me, I'll just go to sleep, you know, and not even just go to sleep intentionally, but I literally would just fall asleep. Like what other people find interesting literally is like something to go to sleep on for me. And I sleep with my TV on anyway. So what half y'all be watching and enjoying, it be something for me to go to sleep on, okay? Because I'm not really into TV. Like, I don't have a favorite actor or actress. Like, it's just, it's not my thing. But as of this point in my life, like, honey, I've been watching more TV. I've been checking out um, more stuff on the television. Not really on the television. Well, I guess it's on the television. But I mean, like, not cable-wise. Like, I've been watching Netflix. And you know what's so funny? We have cable, but we literally do not use it because we are so busy and stuck on Netflix and on Hulu and on different stuff like that, which is interesting because it's kind of like cable is like a thing of the past. But anyway, um, I have been stuck on number one Riverdale because I watched Riverdale in the past and Riverdale is on Netflix for those of y'all that are not aware. Um, I think it comes on on CW or it came on on CW. Um, but as of now, I'm watching it on Netflix. So if you're looking for it, it's on Netflix. Anyway, I am hooked on this show. And I watched in the past about two years ago. And a lot of the key points, like, I missed. That's why it's beneficial to watch stuff more than once. Because you guys, most of the stuff that's going on, I'm like, what? 
huh when did that happen like girl I must have went to sleep on the whole season because baby I don't remember seeing a half of this stuff and I'm not gonna sit here and spill tea but I specifically watch it because number one I love the characters I also really love the fashion on the show like girl they are so fashionable over there on Riverdale like I just absolutely love the clothes that they wear specifically Cheryl and um Victoria or oh, what's her name is her name Victoria Archie Betty I don't know but if I figure that I'm gonna put it across the screen cuz I don't think that it's Victoria six and a half hours later I don't know where Victoria 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 I don't know why that name is in my head I don't know if her name is Victoria I don't feel like her name is Victoria but it could be today I'm gonna to be using the 35 s sweet Oasis palette from Morphe and I'm just gonna throw me on some eyeshadow some real simple cuz y'all I'm trying to get this sponsorship video done so I can take my butt to bed okay real simple real easy real to the point okay um but yeah for some reason Victoria is ringing in my head but I literally do not think that her name on the show is Victoria so anyway if I figure out otherwise I'll put it across the screen to correct myself because honey I don't know but anyway it is super duper interesting and I'm thinking about going back and rewatching 13 reasons why but to me I thought that the show was stupid like I felt like she played victim the whole entire show am I the only one that feels like that I feel like she committed to I don't know if I can say that on YouTube but y'all know what I'm talking about I feel like she did that for I don't know it seemed like the whole show she was just chasing chasing attention because pretty much everything that everybody did to her she did to other people so it's just like I felt like the storyline on that show was crazy for her particularly for the character Hannah um, because I felt like you know I didn't feel bad for her I felt like it was just some bullshit like bitch suck it up buttercup like <laughs> that type of thing you know what I'm saying like oh my gosh everyone picks on me I'm gonna go cry and I'm gonna go like it's like bitch get it together pull it together do other people's opinions really affect people that much because I know people talk shit about me on the internet all day and I'm just like uh, I really don't care like my parents have always taught me that if you don't have a personal relationship to somebody or if you don't have a real care like a real legitimate love for somebody what they say will never affect you and as I grow older specifically this has been me all throughout my life but as I grow older I have learned that to be very very true because half of the stuff that other people care about I don't give a flying bird shit about <laughs> like I, I don't care literally that's why half of the stuff that people be replying to and responding to like you won't even get a response from me because shit I don't care like People really be pressed about what other people have to say and I'm really trying to figure out where that mentality comes from like I really try to be as understanding towards people as I possibly can and that is one aspect that I don't get because I've never been somebody that cared what other people thought of me never ever so it's very interesting to me um, to see I guess different um different personalities i guess i could say <laughs> i don't even know if i could call that a personality but just people that are more so on the sensitive side because i think that my whole entire personality is pretty much my mom like my mom always has pretty much had a if it don't benefit me then it doesn't matter type of attitude and I think that I picked that up from her you know um so I don't know but y'all I felt like the whole show was a pity party 
and maybe that's because I'm just not a very emotional person like I just wasn't in tune I wasn't feeling it because I felt like she was just a punk ass crybaby maybe that's what it is <laughs> um anywho I'm gonna try to speed through getting this makeup done really fast because I feel like I'm just gonna ramble if I don't it's 412 now <laughs> so the quicker I get done with this the quicker I can get that sponsorship video recorded and the quicker I can take my butt to bed right you guys so let me hurry up and do what I gotta do and I'll talk to y'all probably after I finish I can still remember the first time that we kissed Feeling light as a feather I always want to feel like this But at some point we mess up right sugar And when we find no one wants to stop And as time goes by I wonder
I'm going to use my Avon True Color Makeup Setting Spray. And for those of y'all that do not know, your girl is an Avon representative. So check that out. Check that out. Check that out <laughs> down below in the description box. Y'all, Avon got some good makeup products and body products. But their makeup products, those are my faves. Okay, I pretty much started off using Avon makeup products. So... This is my stuff right here. This is my jam, okay? And everything that I used in this video will be listed down below in the description box. So check it out. Also, some of the things that I use might be listed up in the cards. So also check that out. It's the little eye that is somewhere above my head on one of these sides. So look above. <laughs> Today I'll be lining my lips with NYX's Hot Cocoa. This is 829 Hot Cocoa. And as y'all can see, this lip liner is well loved. <laughs> So, I'm just going to line my lips. I don't need to be healed. And I don't want to move on, you know. This heart of mine is all. I'm gonna use Milani's, uh, what is this? Catwalk Pink. And this has been a go to lippy for me recently. Last but not least, I'm going to use Milani's Brilliant Shine Lip Gloss in Bare Secret. Y'all, since I have to be up early, I'm really tempted to just keep this face of makeup on and take my ass to sleep and um, get up in the morning with it still on. I'm really tempted, but yeah, I don't know, girl. I don't know if that's what I'm gonna do. Wake up with pimples going out of my face, out of my eyes, out of my lips. Like, I don't know. And that is it for this video. I hope that you guys definitely enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. It is always greatly appreciated here on my channel. And that is it for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you don't have anything else to comment down below, please comment what you are. And that is a star. Always remember to keep glamming. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.